Hi everyone, Matt here again. Um, right, now, so this week um, I am looking at some figures that I've never used before, I've never bought before from this particular company. Um, sorry I've not been uploading any videos lately. Um, I'm a teacher by profession and uh, it's been a bit crazy over the last few weeks. With the, I spend pretty much all day in front of a monitor um, doing remote lessons and uh, preparing um, resources and things like that for students. So... Um, yeah, it's been a bit intense to say the least over the last few weeks online. So, uh, hopefully, though, it's now half term and I can get some videos done and get some stuff painted up and finished off. I've got a load of Byzantines that I'm trying to finish at the moment. I will get those finished this weekend and then I'll show you what I've done with those so far. And my Byzantines are actually my first force that I'm going to use in the Baron's War. And they fit pretty nicely because they, I think they were around about the same the time as the. Uh, I think it was a Fourth Crusade, I'm not sure, um, in the 12th century when uh, Byzantium was um, attacked by the Franks and uh, destroyed, uh, well, it was sacked, um, and uh, my Byzantine force uh, could be around the same time as the Barons Wars uh, in England, so uh, historically it fits okay time-wise, but having said that, I also want a kind of an English... Um, unit of around the early 13th century as well so i went with uh, the footsaw miniatures now they are kind of heavily pushing the baron's war at the minute they've, everything they've got um, they've got a whole range <coughs> of things to go with the uh, with the game okay and the pdf is out already now i've ordered the um rule book but it's not out yet i think it's out on the 21st of february so i've been told <coughs> so um, first thing, uh, I thought I'd buy a few different uh, troops for, uh, for this particular range. So we've got um, archers, alright, a few archers. Yep, okay, I've got two bags of archers. So there's four archers in each bag, okay. Four archers in each bag, as you can see there. Um, and they, they're quite nice, actually. I... Th I um, it's been a long time since I've actually painted metal figures. The only pe metal ones I paint at the minute are usually cannons and the the, the companies that come with cannons and uh, the odd uh, mortar team for bolt action. Usually you know, the small teams for bolt action, the machine gunners and the mortar teams. But when it comes to large armies um, and hordes of archers and men-at-arms and pikemen, etc., they're pretty much all plastic these days. So... I very rarely buy metal, so I'm quite pleased with the, the way these look. They've got quite a not, nice level of detail, okay? Like I said, this is the first time I've ever bought foot saw, okay? So this guy's quite nice. I like the fact that, you know, you can see the kind of uh, ribbon and the um, the folds and that on his on his, on his his coat, on his surcoat, um, and also uh, the on his uh, boots, okay? So I'm looking forward to painting these up. This guy... Got a kind of padded circo over the top. Also, he's actually got a nice expression on his face as well. You know, there's no lack of expression there. So that's quite good. So they're the archers. Um, alongside the archers, I've got um, two units of um, spearmen. Okay, I say two units. I've bought eight spearmen. Um, so looking forward to painting those up. Let's just take a quick look at those guys. Just crack one open. I'm expecting the quality to be the same across the board. Can't see any any reason why the spearman would be kind of lesser quality than anything else. Okay. Have a look at one of these. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got a little tear in his um, tabard. That's quite nice, actually. Nice touch. Chainmail. Metal helmet. Little knife there. Okay. Arms for the spear. Yeah. As usual, we're gonna have to drill those out. Okay. We've got a drill, so I can. That will only take five minutes. Less than that to drill that out. Okay. And uh, the spears come with them. They've got the spears. The spears are um, all metal. 
I might actually have what I did with my some of the others that I've got. I might use these spears, or I might use plastic spears actually, because the plastic ones won't won't bend. I've got loads of plastic spears from Vikings, and I've also got a, a set of um, Spartans somewhere, so I can cut the plastic spears off there and probably use plastic spears because plastic spears are a lot more rigid. Okay, they don't bend like that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, as we all know. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I stopped painting with metal figures because I was just fed up of constantly reorganising their uh, swords and spears and things like that because they were always bent um, yeah so I might actually replace those with uh, with plastic and once I've drilled through the guy's arm hand rather um, then uh, I can just slide a plastic one through in addition to that I bought a command unit so this guy's the standard bearer okay this is the Lord. I quite like the dent in his shield. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't think that's a ca that's a cast fault. I think that's intentional. And that's a nice dent there. He always took a bash from somebody's mace. Yeah, he's got a an axe. It comes with it as well. Okay, again, I might have a look. Let's see if I've got some spare weapons from somewhere else. I mean, one of the good thing about metal, I suppose, is you know I can probably kit bash some of the other uh, plastic weapons onto it. He looks like he's got quite a ragged cloak as well, like his cloak is um, torn at the bottom. Quite like that, and he's got a bit of a hood. Yeah, bit of a kind of crusader look to him. Yeah. He looks, he looks quite quite nice, that's a nice figure. Okay, so here's my command. In uh, Baron's War, I'm not sure if you know, but when you buy, you can buy a commander with your points, and basically one of the things he gets as an ability is a bannerman, okay, to accompany him. So basically you get this, the commander and the bannerman, and those two guys basically join a unit. Yeah, so say you've got a unit of seven, something like that. Um, the, when these two guys join the unit, it becomes a unit of nine, and that becomes the command unit. That's how it works. Okay, so you must put your command with an existing unit. Okay, so there's my command. Okay. Um, so in addition to that, I thought I'd buy some more knights. Okay, so I've got two packs of knights. Okay, with swords, etc. Again, might cut the metal swords off and replace them with plastic swords yeah I've got quite a few plastic swords knocking about so that'd be easy to do just to, just to kind of give it a bit more rigidity it's the, you know, the, and, and what they actually come with, they come with their own uh, with the kind of shields and this kind of takes me right back really these metal shields yeah um, the, the old small kite shield um, takes me back to years ago when I used to work um, use metal okay and in addition to that I bought some mounted knights as well okay so there's two in each pack and I bought two packs of those oh hang on a minute no uh, oh sorry <laughs> I bought two packs of those blimey that's heavy yeah two packs of mounted knights okay and I also bought a command knight as well guy in command and look at these, I hate metal swords. How bent that is. Look, they're not good. I'm going to cut these metal swords off and replace them with plastic swords. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. Okay. So, eight archers, eight spearmen, eight knights, eight foot knights, um, four mounted knights, a command mounted, a mounted command, and command uh, mounted foot. So I'm going to try and make a start on these guys, start getting them painted up. And um, I'm going to finish the Byzantines first. That's going to be my first uh, project. I'm going to finish those that, this weekend and I'll show you what I've done with those guys. Okay, So they're going to be my first Baron's War army. And, uh, and then I'm going to start with my um, English Baron's War army. All right, Now I've gone with... Uh, I think I'm rem rem I 
remember which side it is. So basically, Barons' War is King John versus the Barons, okay, who eventually forced him to sign the Magna Carta, and then I think he went against the Magna Carta, and basically they all fought each other again, okay. So I've gone with the uh, the opposing side, the Barons, okay. So I've got some really nice flags from Flags of War. So I've gone with Robert Fitzwalter, Declare, yeah. Marshal of the Army of God in the Holy Church. He's basically opposed to King John. Yeah, okay. And uh, another uh, baron in opposition, um, the heir of Arundel, William de Albany. William de Albany. All these guys are basically Normans, aren't they? Let's, let's face it, they're all French <laughs> in England. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So they're all they're all ex they're all descended from Norman families from the uh, from 1066, and that almost kind of fits in with the Byzantines that I'm painting up because a lot of the Byzantines I've got a little force of um, Varangian um, mercenaries, and the Varangian mercenaries they were um, Danes and Saxons who basically came down to fight alongside the Byzantines, and I think I read somewhere that because of the it was quite early on it was like uh, it was twelve. 12 9, 12 13, something like that. Um, they got descendants of people who fought at um, at uh, uh, Hastings. And a lot of these Saxons and Danes, basically, when they were fighting the Franks who were trying to sack Byzantium, they basically saw it as revenge. For Hastings, because they fought at Hastings, some of these Saxons, some of the Saxon families, had fought at Hastings, and the Franks had obviously, uh, you know, I think I, I might be right there. I might be a bit off there. Okay, uh, I might have to look that up again. Okay. So uh, when I talk about the Byzantines, I'll do my research and I'll find out exactly what did happen. All right, and give you a little bit of backstory there. So that is, um, that is my English retinue or well, the start of my retinue for baron's war okay so a nice little mix of units okay and essentially in baron's war units can be for infantry three plus in a unit models and for cav uh, cavalry or horse two plus models in a unit now i've discovered just through a little playthrough of the rules that it's probably best to have at least six in a unit because you lose models really quickly and if you drop down to three then you're broken okay well you've got a really good chance of being broken i can't remember which but three <coughs> three is really bad number so you don't want three you want multiples of three really six nine twelve is probably about right so i'm going to try and put the archers and others into groups of uh, groups of six which will leave me a couple spare but uh, that's fine i can always buy more Right guys, so I'll get back to you on Sunday and I'll give you a big, or maybe even the end of tomorrow, and I'll give you a big update on the Byzantines. Okay, stay safe, bye for now.